All right, welcome uh, in uh, uh, this series of videos. I'm going to show you how to uh, um, clone a repository for a class, um, possibly uh, switch branches on it, create a new branch for your uh, assignment, and then uh, make a change and then uh, um, commit that change and then um, push the uh, change to a personal repository so uh, that you can then submit a pull request um, in Blackboard for grading. So let's uh, start right out. Um, I assume at this point that uh, you have a public and private key pair and that your private key is loaded into pageant. And uh, then if you're on uh, uh, Windows here, it's uh, uh, by far the easiest way to uh, then uh, 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 operate this is to use source tree. So let's start up source tree real quick. And um, then uh, typically it uh, comes back with either a couple of uh, tabs of repositories that you have already opened um, or if you don't have one open right now with this default screen. And uh, now it's time to clone the uh, remote repository. So let's use our Pong game as uh, an example that Pong game also has uh, uh, the same repository on um, uh, GitHub, but uh, here I have an additional branch uh, that I've created um, to show how that works. So, and uh, the uh, remote uh, um, URL uh, for all of our systems is git. Uh, git at git.cs.kysu.edu and then in this particular case the name is going to be Pong and it's going to be whatever your assignment requires. Uh, when I now go into the destination path, um, source tree will actually check that remote and see what kind of repository it is and uh, if it is successful it will say this is a git repository. If it is not successful at this point either you have forgotten to uh, uh, load your private key into pageant or you have mistyped or also not ex uh, not uh, um, um, impossible is that uh, you indeed may not have um, access to this repository at which point you need to talk to the uh, 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 to your instructor to make sure that you have uh, corresponding reading rights um, but by far the most common case if an error happens at this point is you have forgotten to load your private key. So we can clone the repository. And this will uh, get a copy of the repository. Um, and uh, it will by default um, uh, check out the uh, uh, default branch which as of now for most repositories is still clock master um, and uh, the folks at git are in the transitioning of actually naming the default branch main in the future so depending on how the repository has been set up you may see that you're on the master branch or on the main branch um, you also see that there is an additional branch on the origin named paddle class you can see this in the history window uh, uh, by this uh, tag um, up there, this is actually, uh, as you can see here, commit uh, FB, FA, and uh, so, but we can also see this on the remote branch here by just opening up the uh, remote list, and there you also see that there is the uh, paddle class. And uh, depending on your uh, instructions from where you need to start, uh, you may need to start at this particular uh, or at a particular branch and uh, so in order for you then to start um, working on that branch you need to uh, check it out which can be achieved by a single uh, simple double click here uh, on the actual branch name. Um, the remote branch then has been given uh, here as origin pedal class and then the new um, local name is just Paddle class. Um, these names do not have to be identical, um, but for most applications, uh, um, I recommend keep those the same. Origin here, by the way, is just a shorthand name. The default shorthand name for where you originally claimed uh, cloned from. In our case, it's just a shorthand name for git at git.cs.kysu.edu colon pong. So let's check out this branch, uh, which is a relatively fast operation. Um, and now we are ready to actually make some changes. 
when you do want to make some change, it is uh, um, uh, useful and many a times your instructor will tell you to actually create a new branch for those changes. Um, so we're going to branch out from the paddle class branch now and uh, uh, we're going to manipulate the ball so we are going to uh, uh, change uh, the uh, ball and therefore um, a good name for our um, uh, uh, assignment branch would be here in this case assignment ball for instance. So we can do this by uh, just branching out from the current branch by hitting the branch button and then just say okay assignment dash ball and uh, that's it and then we can create the branch at which point you see that uh, the uh, uh, branch has uh, uh, um, been created and right now it points to the same commit FBFA uh, and of course this is going to change now. So let's do a change. Let's uh, open up idle. This is a Python project so let's open up idle and uh, make a change um, so that you see how this works. So uh, I'm just going to go to idle Python. Here it is and then idle and uh, we can then open the uh, file um, and uh, the clone usually happens in the documents directory unless you tell it otherwise here's our pong directory and here's our pong.py file so we open that up and uh, we have this let's run this real quick to make sure it works it should of course and uh, yep so here is our pong game and that works. Now let's make the ball a little bit faster. So I'm going to scroll past the pedal class here and make a change on the ball speed, which is right here. So let's make this a 10 instead of an 8. And uh, when I run this, I need to save it first, which I do. And then you can indeed see that the ball is indeed faster. And uh, so that's the change. Now let's look at what um, Sorcery has to say about this. It will detect the uh, change and it will say now it has uncommitted changes. And when we hit commit, this will be committed to the current branch, which is assignment ball. So I can look at the difference. And uh, Sorcery tells me quite uh, nicely that the change is in line 82 of the uh, source code and that indeed the speed has changed from 8 to 10. So let's commit that change uh, locally first, at which point it is part of your local repository. So we can hit commit. Um, we have to uh, stage our changes for commit. Um, so in our particular case, we can hit stage all. Um, and uh, then uh, uh, we pick a commit message. Uh, remember the standard format for those. Um, and uh, in our case here, I will just say speed up ball and uh, short and sweet. And uh, I hit commit and the uh, file is now committed locally, which we can actually see in the history. So we can go back to the history and now we see that our assignment ball branch has advanced uh, and is now pointing at commit A040. And uh, so this is the commit we uh, uh, want to be counted for our uh, grade and to create a pull request from, um, which means we have to push it to a remote system. Uh, we cannot push it to the same remote system where it came from, to origin, because that uh, uh, repository is right protected for uh, um, um, students so uh, that students don't overwrite each other's work um, which means that you have to uh, push it to a uh, personal remote which we will now create and uh, get to life the system we use at KSU allows you to um, uh, create um, uh, repositories personal repositories on the fly if they um, adhere to a certain pattern and that's what we're going to do now. So we can now uh, go and actually create a new repo remote. So we have to go to repository settings and then here is a list of all our remotes and I'm going to add a new remote that uh, we're going to call personal 
um, and uh, that personal remote uh, starts out as usual with get at get.cs.kysu.edu and now um, we have to specify this is a student repository so it's students uh, and then your login name um, on our systems as uh, has been given to you by um, our systems administrator typically this is um, first name dash last name uh, it's basically your case your email uh, address name part with a dot replaced by a dash so uh, in my case here I actually am authenticated right now as the demo user Linus Torvalds so I'm gonna do Linus dash Torvalds uh, and then uh, again you don't have to name it the same but I do recommend keep the name the same and it's going to be Pong so we can now add this remote at which point it now uh, indeed exists and uh, we are now ready to actually push um, our branch to it but uh, uh, only pushing the branch um, uh, while um, um, acceptable uh, is uh, um, um, uh, somewhat inconvenient because you also need the rest of the code um, in there so that it's easier not only for you uh, but also for the instructor to grade so uh, for the first push to the uh, personal remote uh, you should push not only your uh, uh, your own branch in this case the assignment Paul but also all the other branches uh, at least the ones that you worked off on um, so and this happens here so when we now hit push we can switch the repository to push to from origin to personal and uh, now uh, assignment ball is the one that we definitely want uh, but uh, uh, certainly we want to uh, also push the master and the pattern class at which point your personal repository uh, will now be an exact copy of your local repository which will be a exact copy of the origin repository plus your changes to your assignment ball um, branch so now we can push this and uh, that push should go through at which point we should see in the history window um, a couple of more uh, branch tags attached to uh, different uh, commit IDs you see now our uh, personal assignment uh, slash assignment ball uh, tag to commit a 040 you also see personal pedal class and personal master attached to the previous um, commits and that is that you're done now um, so uh, uh, in order to submit um, your work now for grading you would uh, have to take the URL uh, for your personal repository that we just created and the commit ID that you want to uh, count towards your grade which in this particular case is commit a040 um, and that's uh, that's all you uh, uh, really need to uh, do um, so um, at this stage you uh, don't really have to uh, merge or uh, rebase any branches if that is part of your assignment then uh, uh, the instructor will clearly tell you so